So I started at the school in 2010 and I came from a completely conventionally educated background. So mm. my whole childhood and then college and then career as a seventh grade public school teacher. And I was pretty unhappy and mostly around these concepts of getting to eat when you're hungry or mm. getting to use the bathroom when you need to pee. Especially in seventh grade, it's so obvious how dysfunctional it is to group large numbers of people exactly the same age together. And so those were things that very much frustrated me and I felt like I was inflicting harm rather than, mm. or the harm I was inflicting what outweighed the benefits I was providing. So I, I was like, I'm just gonna do something else. <laughs> and I went and did something else. And I just feel this big pull to working with young people. So when I moved to Portland, I just started looking up alternative schools and had no idea about democratic schools or I don't think I'd even heard the term agency before, mm. but I just knew I wanted to be with kids in a different way. And I searched and found the village free school, went to a free school 101. My mind was completely blown. <laughs> and at the same time, I was like, wow, this sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> mm. So not, not totally convinced until we, the person started talking about the graduation process and mm. Our graduation process is so, I think, substantial and meaningful and very extremely reflective of the person doing it. And it resonates so strongly with me as something that would have been incredibly valuable in my own life. And at, that was the moment when I was like, sold. <laughs> this is the work I want to do. And over these years since 2010, what I've learned is there's so much about agency and collective liberation and personal freedom and care that isn't actually just for kids. It's for mm. all the people involved. And I always like to quote Akilah Richards, who's one of my favorite people, not that I've met her, but just inspiring person that we're raising free people and that includes ourselves. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I, so I think like when I think about my own experience with free schooling and self-directed education, I think I'm, I'm the biggest benefactor mm. to, to date. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg. <laughs>